It is 8.20 p.m. We have been going on this challenge for exactly 12 hours. 36 to go, and I have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight. Okay, good morning. The time is 8.20 a.m. Hopefully you can see that. And that means that our 48 hours in Malta with no money has officially begun. Welcome to Valletta. So, an absolute stroke of luck that on my way here to the center of town from the airport in a taxi, I was talking to the driver about what I was doing here, my challenge, all that sort of stuff. And he gives me, where is it? He gives me his personal transport card. He goes, just take it and use it because apparently if you live in Malta, all public transport is free. And he's literally given me his card. Like I, I met this man, you know, seven minutes prior and he decided to do this for me. I mean, what an absolute bloody legend. How are you, I'm, I'm doing very well, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good, good, good. No, I believe and you have your hotel at Valletta. Ah, uh, no, sir. So <laughs> I've come to Malta and I'm doing 48 hours in Malta with no money. This is my car. Oh, okay, it's like this. Ah. Take it, take it. Wait, what? Take it. Wait, really? Are you sure? 100%. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate that. So I can use this and it'll take me anywhere on any bus? Exactly. Oh my gosh, brother. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. That's an epic win to start with, but... um. Let me show you what I have on me, because I promised I'd show you everything I have. So on me, nothing in my pockets except that guy's card, and I've got my phone, and I've got my backpack. Now some of this I will blur out because I've got prescription medications, but that's some body deodorant, those are some headphones. In here we have charger and cables and all that sort of stuff. Up the top here is just receipts. Then in here, we've got, this is a, like a halo jacket. Those are some meds, some contact lenses, some pants, some shirts, rich dad, poor dad, uh, more meds. Yeah, I'll just chuck it all, for full transparency, just chuck it all on the ground. Obviously, I'm gonna blur out my medications. One day, I might actually make a video about traveling with prescription medications, because it is a huge pain in the butt sometimes. It really, really is. Meds over there, blurred out. Socks, more charging stuff, underwear, and then I've got my Greek passport and my prescription medications, keys, more meds, and that is that. That is all I have packed with me. The good thing about starting this early in the day, I think, is that we have a full day ahead of us to try and figure out ways that we can get food, ways that we can get accommodation, and obviously I have to stick to all of the rules. I don't know, I think my first thing could be we go exploring around for a bit, but maybe I should get started on trying to find a place to stay, you know, through couch surfing or Tinder or Bumble or anything like that. Uh, we'll see how we go, but, uh, but yeah, this is the start of the challenge. They've got one of these old London telephone boxes here. Yeah, that is definitely like a London telephone box. That's crazy. I wonder when that was put there, that's so cool. All right, I'm gonna go find somewhere to, to sit down and do some research. Because as you can see, all the shops and stuff, they're still, like, they're setting up tables and all that sort of stuff. Alrighty, Starbucks for the win, always. I'm just doing some research on, like, there's a major terminal, like, bus station. Like, just over here somewhere, there's a big bus station. And you can go pretty much anywhere on the island. But apparently that's the town with the restaurants, and that's the town with the nightclubs and there's a lot of hotels in that area as well. So if I needed to like sneak into a hotel for whatever reason, then that is something I could do. So I'm just sort of exploring my options because it's still so early in the morning. It's been 28 minutes since I started this challenge. <laughs> it's been 28 minutes. Hello, if I get a cup of water, it's free, right? Just get a cup of water. No, you don't have any tap water or anything? Thank you so much. Thank you, have a good day. Always got to cash in on that free Starbucks tap water. <laughs> so I've sent a couple of requests on couch surfing. I've been doing some selective swiping on Tinder, Hinge and Bumble. So we'll see how that goes. You never know. You know, if you match with a couple of people, just say, hey, look, I'm doing this challenge in Malta. 
Is there any chance I could sleep on the floor? All right, so everything up that way is Valletta. And then here you start going out. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna test this, uh, I'm gonna test this card that the driver gave to me. And I wanna go and get the bus to the name of the town, Sliema, which apparently has lots of restaurants and bars and all that sort of stuff. And there might be a good spot to chill because I've walked around Valletta like three times now. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. Is this going to Sliema? It is? Ah, yeah. oh, sorry. Ah, perfect. All right, the card works, let's go. Oh, I feel like I'm in high school again on one of these buses. Just as well, we have one of these. So I'm the only one on the bus. That would have been a, a tough sneak on, I reckon. This is kind of like a mini hack for the island. Okay, we have made it. Also, we got a um, a decline on uh, couch surfing. The guy said that he's actually not in the country right now, so fair enough. Anyway, this is like the big shopping district, I think. Wow, hold on, I need to get closer to the water so I can show you the view. So obviously you got the water here, but then all of that is Valletta. It's basically a massive fort. It's huge. This is so cool, man, and the, like the breeze coming off the water as well. I just can't believe how hot it is. Like it is, it is actually really hot. I think it's about 26 degrees Celsius or something. Thank you so much, man. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Say what you will about Starbucks, but they rarely let you down. Ah, oh, I got the ice in it too. The three main things I need to do, which I still haven't accomplished, is one, I need to get something to eat, because I'm starting to get really, really hungry. Now, I feel bad for pulling off like the McDonald's trick or, you know, the Burger King trick, you know, anything with fast food, pretty much. I feel bad for doing it, but if I need to, I need to. Uh, Two, I still haven't found a place to stay. And three, I wanna like do something. Alrighty, so quick update, it's 12.30. Um, I still haven't received anything in terms of accommodation on couch surfing, but I did have someone message me to ask to hang out, so I put myself available to hang out. So her name is Eva, and I think she's, she's from the Netherlands, and she's asked to hang out, so we've been chatting a bit, and we're gonna meet up in about half an hour or so. So it'd be cool to catch up and just talk to someone, and she said she's okay with being filmed. Oh, I just go to a Starbucks for a water. <laughs> really? Yeah, they you got free. No, well, I'm doing this. I'm doing this properly. I'm doing the challenge properly. So anyway, I've been uh, chilling with Aoife here. We've been talking for what, like two hours, hour and a half, something like that. Something like that. Uh, and Aoife bought me a coffee, which is very, very sweet. But how, how real am I doing this? I have no water on me. I have. <laughs> yeah. You're well, actually, being very, very genuine about this. I walked around with with. FA for a couple of hours. She didn't mind being on camera a little bit, but I could tell she didn't like really, really want it on. We talked about a lot, which was great. She bought me a coffee, obviously, but it's about to hit 3 p.m. My phone's nearly dead, so I need to charge that. And I've had nothing to eat. I am starving. So I think I'm gonna pull off the McDonald's trick. I also have had no news in terms of places to stay tonight. So we might have to go an alternate route which might be sneaking into a hotel lobby or into a hostel common room, something of this nature. Here I am, that's the McDonald's over there. I'm gonna make the call here in a sort of more quiet space because doing it out on the street, down where all the shops are is way, way too loud. Hello mate, how you doing? Hi, my name is Nathan. Uh, I was in your store with my family about 25-ish minutes ago. We ordered a whole bunch of food and we've gone back to the hotel and I've actually realized I'm missing my large Big Mac meal and the Coke as well. Is it okay if I come back and get it? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me the order number, please? We, we, we threw the receipt out when we left, mate. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Okay, you, see, you, you can come in our store, okay? Oh, okay, what's, what's, who should I talk to? What's the, the name of the manager? Uh, I'm Rinchen, by the way. I'm, you can speak with me, okay? R Richard, okay, perfect. No worries. Oh, I'll see you then, okay. Richard. No I'll worries. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, we'll see how that goes. 
Sorry, um, I spoke to Richard, your manager, on the phone about a missing meal. If I could speak to him, please. Richard, right? Yeah, so we ordered the food like maybe half an hour ago at this point, and I'm missing my large Big Mac meal from the order. We just we went back to the hotel, and it's not there. So large Big Mac meal? Large Big Mac meal, and the Coke is missing as well. Okay, all good? Thank you. Uh, yeah, take away, take away, yeah. So we threw it out the second that we left the store. We were in a rush. We threw the receipt out immediately. You ordered from the kiosk? Uh, my dad is the one that ordered. My meal is the one that's missing. Okay, you remember what you ordered? It was the, the entire order. In general? In general, it was, it was a big order. I think it was some quarter pounders, some Big Macs. Okay. Unless something was missed, I don't know. Uh, what, what did you order? From here or from the kiosk? I think it was from the kiosk, I think. I'm not sure. Look, I can call my dad and I can have him come in. Holy shit. The Maltese were on it, bro. Like, I've done this a few times before and normally it's a lot easier than they were, like, inquiring. Because there was the manager, Richard. I put the camera down a little bit, so I don't know how much you saw. But then there was like, the manager manager. And she came out and she was checking orders and stuff. So I had to really play it deep, like it was my dad that ordered it, my meal was missing. But anyway, we got it. Okay, delicious Big Mac, fries, and a drink. Meal demolished, still finishing off the Coke. Now what I really need to do is sit down somewhere, like properly, and start DMing some more people on Couchsurfing, because I haven't run out of requests yet. I'm also going to start researching some hotels. Valletta, if we get the bus back to Valletta, which is fine, doesn't cost anything. But I could go to that Starbucks that has a nice big underground area where I can just chill and charge my stuff. But all of the hotels and the hostels and stuff are on this side. So if I want to sneak into those, I might have to do it later, but maybe the best idea is get a car, so get a, get a bus. Uh, over to Valletta and then we come back here later. That's probably the best way to go. Okay, so it is 6 16 p.m. So it's getting it's starting to get pretty damn late now and opportunities for Getting accommodation are slim now inside Valletta It's so cramped. It is so unbelievably cramped. There's no room to do anything. There's no privacy out the front here, there's tons of space, which is really nice. Like, you can just chill over there, do whatever. You can even lie down over here. Uh, but if I want the opportunity of maybe sneaking into a hotel lobby or a hostel or even getting a job at a bar or something, I would need to get the bus to the party end of town, which is where I met... Uh, uh, what's, what's... Afa? Afa. Afa earlier, uh, earlier today. I think I'm probably gonna go get the bus because as much as here is nice, uh, I would just be here for the entire night. I wouldn't be doing anything. So I reckon we go get that bus and we'll see what we can come up with in town because yeah, I mean, it's been almost 10 hours exactly since the challenge started. It's almost 10 hours of no money and we've had one coffee and one full McDonald's meal. So that's been pushing me, keeping me going. Okay, so I just caught that bus right there uh, to St. Julian or something. I keep forgetting the name of this place. St. Julian's, St. Julian's. Um, it was about a 25 minute drive or so. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, what should I do? I just feel like I actually haven't been trying that hard, which is a bit of a shame to be honest. But the night's not over yet. There's still nothing going on with Tinder, Bumble, couch surfing. There's absolutely nothing. I've run out of likes on Bumble. There's like, it popped up from like two to eight people that liked me, but I can't, I can't swipe anymore because I swiped too many bloody times. What do I do? Should I just go up to some businesses and just say, yo, do you want me to be a bartender for the night? Or do I go to that hostel that has a rooftop bar and I just go and just check it out just to see if I can have access to the hostel without needing to necessarily stay there and then suss out the common room situation. Excuse me, sorry. You wouldn't know any places in the area that would accept a worker for the night. I'm doing a challenge uh, in Malta, basically living on no money for two days and I'm just trying to find 
if there's anywhere that has jobs or anything like bar bartending or bar backing or something like that. Oh, well, actually, I don't really know like some don't. places that like would accept that. Just out, just out, I know, you so out of the blue. For two days. Pretty much for two days, yeah. Yeah, a job for two days. Pretty much. I know that's so hard these days. Yeah, like that you, could it's be hard, it, yes, I know, I know. No, I thought I'd just ask. Maybe I'll go around to a couple bars. Maybe they need a maybe they need a bar back or yeah, someone to wash dishes. The restaurant in front. Maybe yeah. they, they are nice, so maybe they would accept you. Okay. All right. Might as well just check. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excuse me, guys. You guys don't have any jobs on offer at the moment, do you? For like a bar back or a bartender or anything? No, no, sorry, no. Nothing, nothing? No. Okay. I'm just, I'm doing a challenge in Malta uh, where I'm surviving 48 hours without spending a dime of my own money. So do you reckon there's any business in the area at all that would need any kind of worker whatsoever? So you to fight anywhere? Any, any, here, literally I don't care what I do, literally. I don't know where you can try because now you choose very bad time because now usually work go a bit down and this time of the night. This time, oh, you know, this time in the year. Oh, the time, this of, time, the time year, of the year, right? Especially right. for the locals, they closing the wallets because yeah. getting <laughs> the, the New Year, Christmas, and they should buy a lot of presents. And there's not a lot of tourists. Less people out, and, yes, yes, for yes, sure, yes. for sure. Do you reckon I'd have any chance at all? Or they're like, where would be the best place to go? You think? Uh, if you want to find something, I know it's better to go somewhere. I don't know what's where they like can a club, <laughs> like a yeah, hostel. Man, yeah, hostel. If you go there up to Spachu, there is a lot of night club, uh, clubs and bars where they are more more busy now this time. Okay, all right, got it. All right. Especially here, you see, I have four waiters and. And that's very slow. And, and six, uh, four of course, hours. of course. I thought might as well just ask anyway. Cheers, well. Uh, no, thank, no, no, thank you so much, man. Have a good night. All right, you heard the lady and the man. I might go to some like clubby areas later, but I want to check out this hostel first. He is right, though. It is a bad time of the year to try and find like jobs like that. It's not impossible. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. But uh, a lot of these job processes, you know, they want you to work for a while. Sometimes it takes two weeks to get the job. Where is this hostel? We should be really close. My phone is nearly dead as well. Marco Polo. Okay, I'm in the hostel. Let's just go up there. Okay, these are just rooms. Okay, more rooms. Hey man. I just wanted to check out, is the, is the bar public access for everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It is? Yeah. Okay, great. And that's, that's just in there? Great, thank you, man. Yeah. Hey, what time does the bar close? Usually 2 to 30. 2 to 30, okay, got it. Easy, man. Thank you so much. Captain's cabin, I'm assuming, is probably like the boss. Those are some toilets and showers. I guess, oh, that's for staff. This might be a staff floor. It doesn't appear like there's like a common room kind of thing that's sort of like open all night which is a bit of a shame so i might have to go look at another hostel now i don't know if you heard anything that i just said in there i was speaking quietly because a lot of the doors were open and people were coming in and out of the rooms and it just would have seemed really <laughs> sus me speaking out loud my investigation of the place so i could stay in a common room but that doesn't seem like the kind of place that i'm looking for tonight Oh my god, thank god I got out of Dodge, Jesus Christ. So I went into that McDonald's just there, which is different from the other one, to go in just to get some fries, because I know that I'm going to be hungry. Uh, and I go in, and it's the same manager from the other store. Imagine if I just bolted straight in there, like full confidence. He would have known it was me immediately. F man, that's crazy. All right. It is 8.20 p.m. We have been going on this challenge for exactly 12 hours. 36 to go, and I have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight. I was down at the beach for about half an hour just charging my phone and my camera, and I'm looking at all of the hotels and, and hostels, and there's only like one other hostel, and my intuition for it is that it's worse than the other hostel because there's no bar attached to it or anything. I still might check it out, and then too, the hotels are all really, really fancy, difficult places to get into. Now, a challenge is good, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't mind like a spa thing. Jesus, bro. The only thing I wouldn't mind is like a spa thing, but the only hotel that does that is the Hilton, and that's like the most expensive in like the entire area. Uh, 
So yeah, look, I'm still optimistic. Doesn't mean all hope is lost, but you know, the, st the statistics aren't telling me uh, great things. Couch surfing is dead. Uh, even on the uh, like the open hangouts page or whatever, uh, people are just you know not responding to requests to hang out or whatever, which could lead to opportunity. Uh, obviously, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, they're dead. So. It's not looking great. It's honestly kind of difficult, but that happens with these challenges. I just don't know where the nine's gonna go. I'm just chilling. We've been going on 14 plus hours, so more than half a day. Damn, dude. Thing is, after like one, the whole city's gonna quiet down after one. I gotta find like a good spot to be. Sitting by the... What is this? This isn't a river. What is this? It's the sea, it's just the sea. Sitting, sitting by the sea here, I've met these two absolute legends who are opening a bottle of champagne now and we're going to be drinking it together. Cheers brother, thank you so much. So those folks, they were so unbelievably kind. You know, they just struck up a conversation with me. They bought me beer for goodness sake. Like just so insanely kind, friendly. I mean... It made my night. It absolutely made my night. I'm still basically homeless, but, uh, you know, you take what you can get. You know, you take what you can get. I still can't believe I'm here, like, doing this challenge. It's crazy. I mean, I'd say today was a, not as successful as a day as I would have liked. I still don't know where I'm sleeping. It's like 12.30 at night now. I'm still by here. I want to, like, sleep in that boat just seems so nice just chilling in there but I don't want to swim to it I've had some Prosecco I may have found a somewhat okay spot oh jeez. all right I'm gonna leave the video there you're gonna to have to wait until the next one to find out what actually happened to me during the night there is a chance it's maybe three videos but maybe two today was a long day but then I've got to consider all of tomorrow plus till 8.20 a.m. the following day. So, we'll see. But anyway, bye-bye for now.